Last time I saw him, he was this big. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Mel. Welcome to your new holiday residence, Kevin. Wow! Wicked! The Daltons! Smile! My buddies are so gonna freak out! Hi, I'm Kevin, and I totally dig you guys! But, Kevin, they're bandits! Are you kidding, Uncle? They rob the rich and feed the poor! They're writers of wrongs! Really? I'm a writer of wrongs? As you can see, I'm the tall teenager's idol! Which means I can get anything out of him, so I... Who is he? It's not a plane! It's not a spaceship! It's Super Emerald! Rider of Rogues! And guess who enters the bank? Billy the Kid! So I look at him and I go, There's one Rider of Wrongs too many in this bank! Man, how cool would it be to be like you? Oh, it's possible, you know, we're trapped here. If only we had an accomplice. An accomplice that would steal his uncle's prison keys. Super Emeraldo! An accomplice with long hair named Kevin! Hey, what about me? I promise you, I can do it. I wanted to send a telegram, uh, to Mom. <laughs> it's very nice of you to think about your mother. Just don't forget to close the door behind you. Okay, Chow, we'll send you a card. Huh? Uh, but you said I'd go with you. Of course, of course. He'll make a good hostage if we need one. Okay, let's run! What's, uh, running? $350, not bad for a first day, huh, kiddo? Yeah, but I double dare you to do it without using your hands. <laughs> Hold your feet up, it's a holdup. <laughs> so, kiddo, how was that? Yeah, that was okay, but I bet you won't be crazy enough to attack a train on one foot. <laughs> Maybe he will. Totally nuts or what? Yeah, kind of, but that was nothing. This kid's getting on my nerves. My dad's having a super awesome protected transfer, armor-plated wagon, and 15 guards, so I triple dare you to attack it. <laughs> huh? That pathetic wagon? It's a new technique. My dad always says, discretion is better than protection. But I understand if you're too chicken. <laughs> We're not chicken. We'll rob you a totally awesome digging, transferring death wagon. Hands up!
save us. It's the second time he's saved us today. It's here. Totally awesome. The first edition of Clint, Vigilante Cowboy, in its original wrapping. My father never let me touch it. That's your treasure? What is it about? Too many pages. La, la, la. By tearing up the plastic, it lost all its value. I am so disappointed at you, dude. I double dare myself to... What are you gonna do, tall sausage? Yeah! yeah. Oh, the tall sausage is really strong. Kevin Peabody, I hereby declare you Knight of the Penitentiary. Thanks to you, the Daltons are back to the cells at last. Yeah, uncle. That said, we didn't find the comic book too bad. That story doesn't make sense. Since when are the vigilantes protecting the banks? It's the end of the school year. The kids are going on summer vacation. <laughs> Welcome to the Broken Wings Cafe for the annual Great Condor Until Noon Ceremony. It celebrates our great bird god. Please follow the guide. This is the totem of our great condor until noon, our bird god. Next item. This is the nest of our great condor until noon, our bird god. The soup of our great bird god. <laughs> Legend says the sacred soup gives the power of flying to whoever drinks it. End of tour. You'll find a souvenir shop near the exit. Don't forget the guide. Did you hear that, guys? That soup can make you fly. That would be ideal for an escape. It's just a legend, Joe. If only birds can fly. Why not us? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, but we're not going. Yeah, your ideas never work. Huh? What's this? A mutiny? Nope, it's emancipation. Well, hello, Soup. I'm with you, Joe. <laughs> 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 Come on, clowns, let's go! Hey, back already! School holidays always feel too short. Go! <laughs> You're not flapping your arms fast enough, just watch how I do it! Oh! We need more space. Let's try it outside. <laughs> We're not flying at all, Joe. I've got an idea. <laughs> hey, they're giving out free diving lessons. Look at me. I'm the king of diving. <laughs> No, you idiot, they're stripes. No, no, Joe, I've got chicken feet, look. Ah! He's, He's turning into, into a bird. bird. It's, it's fabulous, fabulous falcon, falcon soup. soup. Bark, 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 bark. I'm feeling weird. Bark, 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 bark. I don't get it. It was supposed to be a condor. Oh, it doesn't matter as long as he flies. <laughs> That's quite a big difference, Joe. Oh, really? And what's the difference, Mr. Know-it-all? Well, chickens don't fly. And this should also happen to you. You did eat some soup, right? Yeah, chicken? <laughs> I don't think so. Ah! What's happening? <laughs> ah! Leave some for me! <laughs> we got to do something! They're sick. They caught a big cold. Yeah, bark, bark, bark. we have bark, 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 goosebumps. Bark, bark, Go to sick bay. You feel better there. Oh no, not necessary. But we'd rather be kept outdoors. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> 
It's nothing. <laughs> A temporary sickness. <laughs> I'm worried about them. They're going to find out. Bark, my worms! Bark! My side face! I'll rip your feathers! Calm down, Dalton. Yep, or you'll end up in the hole. Are you seeing what I'm seeing, Emmett? If Ma saw this... <laughs> We're flying jump! What? Hey, the kids are having high jumping lessons. I was quite good in my time. I gotta beat you! And so, did I win? Did I break the record? Huh? Take the chariot. I'll send an emergency call with a telegraph. Okay, boss. Hmm? I forgot how this works. Miss Betty, I need your help. <laughs> it's very easy, Mr. Peabody. This is the letter A. The letter B. <laughs> We've lost him! My dear colleagues, comma, I'm sending you this letter to draw your attention, comma, about the escape of two dangerous convicts, period. Joe, can we land for a while? My wings hurt. Let's go back to the poultry yard! Ugh, another plan that blows up in smoke. The antidote will work in 24 hours. I feel like eating some seeds. Shut up, I'll rip your feathers off. <laughs> It's an honor to welcome you into our facilitation, Mr. Scalpel. It's not every day that we have a prisoner of quality like you. I I'd like to talk to you about something personal. Um, Ooh. Get it? <laughs> Who's the penguin? Johnny Scalpel, a plastic surgeon from San Francisco convicted for illegal practice of medicine. He could change your face with a stroke of a knife. Oh, really? Change your face, huh? Face, huh? Face, huh? Face, huh? Face, huh? What's a uh, p -p practical luncheon? A doctor who makes over your face. Yep, just like a butcher. A butcher? But I don't want to be turned into a sausage. <laughs> what do you think about this? Well, I wouldn't have them babysit my you sister. You have a sister? Who's that? <laughs> it's us, idiot. We're pretty ugly to look at. We need faces that inspire love and trust. That way, the guards will get soft with us and we'll be able to escape. Yeah, and we'll go visit our sister. <laughs> Let's ask Scalpel to operate on us. Partner, we're the Daltons. 2,650 years in prison for the four of us. Scalpel, Johnny Scalpel, 6,540 operations for me alone. <laughs> That's precisely what we're interested in. A small operation just like that to look like this. Here. <laughs> Operate on you here and now? Hmm, this is gonna be tough, and I'll need an assistant. I don't want to! No operation on me! I don't want to look like a sausage and be eaten! Assistant, anesthesia, please. Ow! Perfect. That will do just fine. Uh... <laughs> One of them anesthetize themselves, Doc. All right. 
Your new life begins. Uh, I'm not a sausage after all. <laughs> what about the forced smile? Does it go away? Hmm, it makes you more friendly. Oops. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Scalpel, someone like you doesn't deserve a pickaxe. Uh, come on, uh, and keep your energy for, uh, you know what. And come with me. Hey, good morning, Daltons. It's funny. I find the Daltons different today. I feel like I can now trust them. It's working! I was right! Avril, go get a ball! They're something different about the Daltons. I don't know what it is. You mean they're more likable? Oopsie! Oopsie! I accidentally kicked the ball to the other side. I don't know. I feel like we can trust them to go get it. And with such a smile, we can't say no. They're sure taking their time. I don't believe it, it worked! Let's hit the bank! Time for rehabilitation! Hey, maybe we can stop running now? <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? Do you rent guns? Well, of course, with such a smile, who would say no? Here to make a deposit? No, a withdrawal! Give us the cash quick! Brave people like you? <laughs> this must be a prank. We're the Daltons! This is a holdout! The Daltons? <laughs> but they're dark haired, ugly, vicious, sinister, badly shaved, the opposite of you. <laughs> <laughs> Next, please! <laughs> Faces back. It's better for white. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, finally. But where's the ball? Oopsie. Okay, but make it quick this time. Aren't there four usually? Gentlemen, I'm looking for our good surgeon. If you see him, tell him it's. He'll know. Turns out, we prefer our old criminal faces. We're not taken seriously with our nice faces. Two operations in a row is quite risky. We're not scared. Okay, but I don't remember your old faces that well. No problem! I made a drawing! Ah. Uh, I'm having a little problem with, uh, you know what? I asked for a more charismatic shit, not larger. I don't take returns anymore, but I'm sure we can find some sort of arrangement. Mind if I ask who you're talking to, Doc? And who on earth are you? Can't you see we're the Daltons? The Daltons? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Avril, we've still got 4,356 years to do. Why don't you use them to learn how to draw?
<laughs> There's a wall, Joe! Let me see. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, fine, thanks. Wow! Hey, looks like Uncle Patrick! According to the scriptures on the walls, it looks like an Aztec tomb. The first inhabitants of this Aztec area. Aztec tomb? Aztecs! As the text. Mm, whatever. What we need is to find the exit. Boo! I'm a mistake. <laughs> I'll call you Poppy. There's nothing here. No exit. Let's go back. What are you doing with that thing? Well, I've lost my sleeping teddy bear. Hmm. <laughs> Another failure. Ah! We were this close to the perfect escape, but we had to find the stupid Temple of Stakes. Not in that, puppy. Mm -hmm. hmm? Ah, escape. Joe, Joe! Huh? The papyrus, I've translated it. It's a map. A map of Questaqualpa's tomb. An Aztec king. That makes me feel better. And there's a secret exit. Huh? A secret exit? That's more like it! Who's that, Poppy? That's Grandpa! Oh, and there? That's Aunt Bridget! <laughs> Stop playing with that! <laughs> The Daltons! The Daltons! 
mountains are escaping! Get them, get them! Where's that darn exit? You can't go anywhere, Daltons. You wanna bet? Ah, they all jumped! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I did it! The jury's over, Daltons! Let them run. They'll come down when they're tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if they can't come down? Well, then we'll laugh some more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find that stupid exit. <laughs> Told me? This is a revolutionary discovery, Professor Darwin! It's only a theory. It has to be verified. I want to take a close look at the buffalo, study their habits and way of life. A close look? Isn't that a bit uh, dangerous? It is, but I am fully equipped. This is so clever. This camouflage will allow me to safely watch the buffaloes in their natural territory. But I'm going to need a few assistants. Dalton! Joe Dalton! Me and my brothers will volunteer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know everything about wildlife. Mm, you seem to be cut out for this. I like your energy. You're a winner. I certainly hope so. Pete and Emmett will come with you for security measures. There will be two of you in each buffalo, and I'll be in the third one. And what do we do exactly? You just watch. Plus a few, um, experiments. <laughs> Goodbye! Going to reintroduce cows into nature. I'm always up for a scientific experiment. <laughs> right there, there's a herd. Gentlemen, this is a small step for man, but a giant leap for mankind. As they become wild again, the cows eat the dolphins. Amazing! Let's divide up the herd and observe them. Ten to one, we never take them back to the penitentiary. Deal! Amazing! A love parade. Very, very interesting. Hello! Excellent. Tomorrow we'll start sampling their horns. I'm 
done with science. Let's take off right now. But, but how? Buffalo! Hey there! Wild cows are waiting for the night time to hunt! I'm learning so much! <laughs> Oh, my God. We have to find them immediately. Science cannot wait. And this is also an hour month. So what? It's when the Broken Wings go hunt for buffaloes. My brave soldiers, let's hope our great spirit will provide us with big buffaloes. Yeehaw! <laughs> Tonight is barbecue night. Let's start cutting the meat. I wouldn't do that if I were you, crazy wolf. A talking buffalo. It's a miracle. My name is Wise Buffalo, spirit of the plains, and I order you to leave my brother alone. But, great spirit, how will I feed my tribe? Uh, there is a huge sale on buffaloes this way. Huh? Who'll sell buffalo steak? Let the great spirit and his brother live in peace. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Come on, Pano! <laughs> we'll soon be free! <laughs> Come out, Deltas, and don't try anything stupid. I already lost the bag because of you. If I told you it was for the love of science, eh, would you believe me? No way! The wild cow transformed into a Dalton to end its cycle of evolution! Science is truly fascinating! You're leaving, Professor? Yes, I've heard about the giant turtles on the Galapagos Island. Bye-bye! Woohoo! <laughs> So you're not cut out for wildlife after all. I totally understand. I prefer the city life too, you know. <laughs> Thank you for the hospitality. The desert is really desert-like. Lord Greystoke's son is going to San Francisco to see a speech therapist. <laughs> hey, what the? Hey, are you nuts or something? He won't be invited to fancy dinners anytime soon. He survived a shipwreck when he was a baby, and he was raised in the jungle by monkeys. <laughs> what a fascinating life. What a huh? fascinating life. Lord Greystoke is a quick learner. I don't get the joke. Mm. 
Since his wild childhood, Lord Greystoke has kept a deep attachment to animals. <laughs> <laughs> Still discovering new species in this country. He's stronger than a lion. And faster than a horse. And I'm as sly as a fox. <laughs> We're trapped in a cage. <laughs> we want to return to our native forest. <laughs> Junior wants to help poor ugly striped brothers. Great! So you climb up on the wall and hang this, capiche? <laughs> okay, throw the rope! <laughs> 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 Monkey boy, I owe you one. Get out of my way or I'll turn you into... Oop. Uh, I was kidding, of course. <laughs> hey there, hey there. I love ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Greystoke speaks 83 animal languages and composes nightingale songs. So he must know how to fly them. <laughs> yeah! It works! <laughs> okay, you can get me down now! Hey! Ho! Oh, hey! Hey, get me down! Are you okay? Well, thank you for everything. Bye! <laughs> Junior protects his poor striped brothers all the way to their forest. <laughs> Monkeying around. <laughs> I'll shut him up for good. Printed <laughs> dumb found us. <laughs> Dogs are the only ones with a good nose. <laughs> 